All right, how to ID the forward drum and the AODs, 4R70Ws, 4R75Ws. These come in the Ford trucks, Mustangs, Lincolns, stuff like that. And the differences in whether they interchange. The first three you have here, two, three, cast iron, cast iron, stamp steel, stamp steel. You'll notice shafts are the same on these first three. These first three will interchange. These are all AOD. It will not fit and will not interchange into 4R70W or 4R75W. This is 4R75, 4R70W. It will not interchange into any of the AOD. We'll start with the AOD. First cast iron is the four clutch cast iron, six pounds, 1980 to 1993, and the part number is E4AZ7F207A. Biggest difference between this one, four clutch and the five clutch, four clutch, there's some more meat here, lower snap ring groove, so you don't have quite as much room here to fit as many clutches. You can get four in there. The five clutch. You see there's more room here. Higher snap ring groove. A little bit less meat here at the top. And you can fit five clutches in there. Then, in 1989 through 1993, while these were still being produced and put in the AODs, you also had the option of the stamp steel drum, which has the high snap ring groove and will fit five clutches. That part number is FOSZ7F207A, and it is five pounds. And that's a full pound lighter than these cast iron drums. All these input shafts are the same. But not the same as the 4R70W, which is the last one we have here. And it is stamped steel, has the same high snap ring groove. We'll fit five clutches in here. But the shaft is way different. And it has the addition of two ceiling rings here. Now it's made from 92 and up. AODE, 4R70Ws, 4R75Ws. It will not fit the plain AOD, the hydraulic. Part number is E4AZ7F207B. And it is seven pounds. It's heavier even than the, the cast iron drums. Now, as always, don't do anything you see in my videos. You'll end up burnt, bruised, or bleeding. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know what I mean. Just to be safe, don't even listen to me. I'm always burnt, bruised, or bleeding. And while you're at it, please like and subscribe. You're not going to get burnt, bruised, or bleeding hitting that little like button or subscribing. As a matter of fact, if you do get burnt, bruised, or bleeding hitting that like button, you put a comment down here and let us know how you hurt yourself hitting the like button. Because we need to know so we don't do what you do. And you can also find us on Facebook or sainauto.com. Have a great day.